Your what's good guys, Lim Crimmins back again with another video. So basically today we're going to talk about my Zealer Smiter hybrid. I basically made this character so I could mass uber torches and flip them for a profit. And I made a lot of mistakes on the way with gear because I didn't realize all the changes they made to rune words and stuff. But we'll talk about that in the video. And uh, it's a really fun character. I'm weaning off of it and I will be selling the gear. So I wanted to make a video prior to that because it's a really fun build just fun for basically dicking around all over the game super tanky lots of damage and um not too expensive but for what i have i, I it's kind of expensive so um we're gonna go through all the stats the gear and the skills Be sure to smash the like button subscribe follow me on twitch i hope you enjoy the video guys <laughs> Okay guys, so here we have it, my Zealer Smiter hybrid. Um, I use Smite for Ubers, and then I'm a Zealer for literally everything else. So let's jump right into the gear. We have a Death Berserker Axe, mid-roll 332. It has 20% bonus attack rating, 7% mana leech, 50% crushing blow, and 45% deadly strike. I think that is better than just pure damage. Like I used to run a BOTD way back in the day. And I think this will do a lot better. I don't know statistically. I'm sure some of you guys could tell me I'm wrong or right. But uh, yeah, that's that. I did make a grief prior to this. And like you'll find out later on, I did not know of the changes. I kind of went into PD2 blindly. And realized they took off the ignores target defense and the... Did it have a fade proc? I forget. Maybe that was Fortitude. I don't remember. Anyways, it wasn't the same weapon, so I ended up making a death again instead. Uh, for the armor, we have Chains of Honor. Pretty standard uh, melee kind of tanky armor. Two skills, 8 life leech, 20 strength, 65 all res, physical damage reduction, sorry, and some magic find. Made it in a superior wire fleece, so that's pretty nice. Made in exile. I should be using a hose, but it disappeared. That's a long story for another day. I also made this without looking and didn't realize they took off the life tap proc, so that's just wonderful. And you can't e-bug anymore, so normally I'd have like a 2k defense vortex shield, but not applicable anymore. Um 16 defiance, which is perfect, so that's nice. Bunch of defense, block rate. Some res, magic fine, pretty nice. So I'm using a Guillaume's face corrupted with two sockets, which I put two Umruns in. So lots of res, 15 strength, deadly strike, crushing blow, hit recovery, which you don't really get from any other items. Um, I think normally this is the budget build helm, but I think this is actually better than Koa because they changed it now. That's my personal opinion. Let me know if you think otherwise, I'd love to know. Um, I'm using Drax Gloves, 20 IAS. I didn't roll these, I bought them for super cheap because I needed them. 9 Life Leech, 25 Open Wounds, 15 Strength, 7 Life after each kill. Standard Melee Gloves. Using Gore Riders, again, standard Melee Boots. Faster Run Walk, Crushing Blow, Deadly Strike, Open Wounds. Mana Regen, which is a terrible roll, but that's... who cares. I'm using a T-Gods. My friend is borrowing my other T-Gods, which is corrupted with 5% block and better strength and actually worse vitality and better light absorb. So normally I'd be using that. So right now I'm, I'm thinking I'm sitting at 72% max block, but normally I'm 75. So pretty nice belt. Light, light absorb is pretty essential when I'm doing Ubers against Meph and Diablo's Lightning. So it is what it is. Using a High Lord's clean, one to all skills. 20 IAS, 300 light damage, some deadly strike, light res. Can't go wrong, standard melee amulet. Using a 236-19 Ravenfrost. Cannot be frozen, which is essential for any melee character because if you're frozen, you attack like half the speed and it's completely useless. So cold zorb, which doesn't really matter. Mainly the dex and stuff. Any any points I can get to strength and dex more base points I can put into vitality in my actual stat tree. 
Uh, my other ring is a Dwarf Star, again, clean, 5% increased chance of blocking, 35 life, Fire's Orb, or Ubers. On the off hand, we have a 4 bow CTA with a 1 skill lid list, so room for improvement. And I have a Sharp Grand Charm of Life, which is a pretty low roll, to be honest. And 37 Geeds, and then a bunch of Pally Combat Lifers, and a 53 18 18 8 Pally Torch, which was the first torch I found with him, actually, which is ironic. So that's that's pretty nice. Great roll. Bunch of small charms, hit recovery, resistance, oops, life, magic find, mana, life, res, etc. etc. I'll go to the mercenary. Using IKs, I put three Ethrunes in here just for the uh, ignores 75% target defense, sorry. Uh, full IKs minus the armor and just Leviathans that is sitting around for physical damage reduced by 24% and some strength and a bunch of defense. So as for the stats, I have just enough strength to use all my gear. I have just enough dex to get 75 block, which normally is if I have my T-Gods that my friend is borrowing. Everything else into Vitality. And as I sit, 1600 health, and just under 300 mana. Um, the in-depth stats. So this is important. Let's go down here. 100 crushing blow. It's fucking insane. 97 deadly strike. That's also fucking insane. 35 open wounds. Bunch of life and mana leech. As I said before, 75 block. Max resist. And... The FHR breakpoint, I don't quite hit that 48, which I would like just for safety, but I've only died once, as I stated before, and it was to Visto. Well, it was actually all three of them piled in because they like to seem to spawn all together nowadays. Um, and 95 magic find for the memes. As for the skill tree, I did make this character as a smiter and then sealer afterwards, so smite is maxed, holy shield maxed. Fanaticism, fanaticism, sorry, maxed. And Defiance maxed for the Holy Shield Synergy Defense Boost. And then everything else into, oops, Zeal. With points into Vigor and Cleansing for when I'm cursed or poisoned, because I hate being poisoned. Or when I am on the off skill just running around, Vigor for that. Alright guys, so we got a map opened here. Let's just, uh go in and do a bit of running around you can see how it uh, works in action basically my problem with the zealer is that it does everything incredibly well but it doesn't do anything amazing I haven't tried this build with ubers but um, normally when I do ubers I switch to smite obviously and I, uh, I throw on a life tap wand and I take off exile and place it with pose because only necromancers can stack curses and uh, I don't want my life tap that's keeping me alive being replaced with amplified damage for the exile so as you can see I do about 5.9k when my merc procs might which he will in a second I hope um, I do about 7k 75 block normally when I have my proper belt um, 1800 life, max res, super viable, total, totally fun to play around with. But the thing is, I mean, it's not that fast, is it? Like you get something like a dragon, dragon den or that kind of build just to run through maps super efficiently and quickly and make my magic finding so much better. Um, but yeah, a little test there. You're probably never gonna die. Stay Loads of fun. And switch to Smite. Have some Uber fun. I've done tons of Ubers. It's just not as easy now with the no life tap proc from Drax or Exile. But yeah. Anyways, like the video, subscribe, follow me on Twitch, Lim Crimmins. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a good one.